is up guys it's AST here and we're back with another minecraft video and we're gonna be doing the next part of this build and by the way this is part 2 this is gonna be part 2 of the build so what I'd like you to do first is come over here and place spruce wood planks like this and the whole floor will be spruce wood planks what you can also do is in the hallways you can do the same so literally every single room so the floor for every single room will be will be spruce wood planks however however for the bathroom I'm gonna use the quartz bricks so this is what the rooms should look like in the hallways and now we'll do the kitchen as well using world edit and that is just because well if you don't have this just fill it in by hand however I'm gonna use world edit just because it's more convenient and it'll save time so I'll just very quickly do this and in the mansion video I was just doing it all wrong I didn't even have the wooden axe so that's why I went wrong so world edit save some time I'll do the same here I'll do the same over here guys there we go and we'll let it save some time I'll just make it day pretty quickly so there we have all the floors in place and now one thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some wool and also some dark oak doors and dark oak slabs and what we can do is this now of course you can have colored walls if you wanted however I'm just going to stick to white wool and you want to raise each stone block up with the white wool and make sure it reaches the second quartz bricks like this like this now what we'll do is for the bathroom I'll add a door However, then I'm going to add two slabs or just a block. And you want to raise literally every single of these walls up with white wool. Like this. And we also know that this division comes here, so I'll also fill that in. And once you've done, it should look like this. And one thing guys, it kind of looks like a fork over here. Anyways, back to, back to the build, not about forks. I want you to do this now with the dark oak slabs, count up every three blocks and on the top half of the third one place a dark oak slab then above that you want to add two layers of wool I'm gonna do that here as well so two dark oak slabs and then above those you want two layers of wool like that and now what I'll do is we'll also do the windows here so you want to do three layers of glass 
like this. I'll just check if that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. And then above those, you want to just place brick. So that's going to be three layers of glass. And then bricks. However, over here, we're going to leave a gap. And even for the bathroom, we'll use a different color, which I'll tell you why later. So three layers of glass, and then a brick on top. Once you've done that, what we're going to now do is, I'm going to take out some light stained glass pane, some light grey stained glass pane and you want to place three over there and three over here and the reason why we are doing a different colour is for privacy because uh, otherwise I'm not gonna mention why because like so you guys know you know what if the reason why the basic reason Okay, so back to the build, you want to place in every single gap like this, you want to add in a quartz brick. And once you've done that, you can fast forward to the end of the video. No, just kidding guys, you don't want to do that. You want to add the doors here and again, make sure that the door handle over here faces the opposite way like this and now above these you want to add a regular quartz stair one over there one over there then you want to finish it off using a glass pane there you go guys it should look like this So once we've done that, what we can now do is, we can now plan out the floorboards, so we know that this elevation, we will have a next floor. So I'll do the same on the other side. And what this will help us to do is, it's gonna help us build the floors in. I'm gonna add, so I'm gonna fill these two rooms on the side. And I'm gonna fill these in with spruce wood planks. And actually, one thing which you want to do is about these two. And also these two, you want to remove the quartz bricks actually. And then you want to place upside down quartz stairs. So actually you want to do that instead. And you'll also want to do that on the other side. And the reason to that is because this is going to be a bedroom. And this house is actually, it's actually big. Like just look at the size. And again, it's gonna be detailed. So that's why it's gonna, so that's why these videos are gonna be very long. So I want you to now carry on putting this section in. And you also want to do the top of the kitchen like this and then one more thing guys is this so um if you're on 1.17 you've got a lot of opportunities like a lot of stuff you can add 
However, I'm still on 1.16 and maybe that's because I'm on Bedrock Edition. And the reason why I'm not moving on to Beta is because otherwise, otherwise people cannot join. So that's why I'm on 1.16. However, if you're on 1.17, you've got more blocks, more stuff that you can use. So feel free to use that stuff. So you want to add the stairs that's just going to be right in front of the door. And you want to keep on going like this until you hit here and that's going to leave us with a gap of one which you can fill in like that so I'll also add the stairs for the next house it's wrong here we go And I'll add two blocks like that. And then you just want to go around like this, adding the rest of the floor. Now I want you to knock out these two. Or actually not two of those. Only this one and this one. And you also want to knock out this block over here. And on the left side, this one this one and this one and in these in these six spaces we're gonna add a stripped log like this and once you've done that what we'll do is we'll take out a quartz brick and we'll make the floor over here and you want it to be like this I really like how much space there is up here and what we can also do is with the wool we can add in the wall that will separate these two and I'm gonna use world edit over here and there we go so once you've done that what I want you to do is take out your wool and raise these up like this do the same on the other side And then also you want to raise these up like this so literally every single wool block should be in height like this so you want to have something like this now this kind of looks weird without without the actual um out their walls so what we'll do is we're gonna add those in now so add a block there actually you want to fill this entire space up there we go and we'll also do the same on the other side and there we go and then what we have is we've got this L shape type of thing over here we can fill this in and then aren't you to place three blocks like this leaving a gap you want to move that block raise this up this and this so three blocks in total move that block you want to raise these up and also these now for the upstairs bathroom we might be able to add in a few normal glass panes you want to add in a upside down quartz stair there and there and then we'll add 
two glass panes make sure it's light stained i mean it's light gray stained and at the top surely no one's gonna climb up and see you do you know what so that's why we can add at least one glass pane and then we can finish it off by adding a brick and then add three glass panes here and here also do the same over here two bricks like that over here finishing off with two bricks one two and three and then two bricks and then we've got the top section of a house complete I then want you to take out your smooth quad stairs place an upside down one over here and I want you to take the all the way across until you reach here Leave a gap of two, then add these here, leave another gap of two, add these here, leave a gap of one, add these here, leaving a gap, then basically you should be able to follow this around like this, and then we'll connect this like that. Now in every single gap, we're gonna add a slab and this gives it more detail and once you've done that I really like how this came out we have got something that looks like this once you've done that what we can do is we can now add inner doors so I'm using dark oak doors add one there there and there also do the same on the other side then above all of these you want to add in a dark oak block like this and then over all of these we will add a wool two blocks of wool And then once you've done that, then we've basically finished part 1, I mean part 2, I was just, I was going all wrong. And one more tweak I'd like to make is over here, replace this slab with the upside down stair at the front. And then we're going to add in, maybe let's do some polished blackstone brick walls. Add one there, there and there. And we'll do the same here. And the same over here. And now take out some and inside walls. And these are to look like drain pipes. So I place this block on the side here. And yes, this is going to be more than 16. And you want to take that all the way up like this. And that is to look like a drainage pipe. We we'll also do the same on the other side. Like this. And once you've done that, then that's the whole of part two then. Okay then guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe if you already haven't. And I'll see you in my next video and peace out